Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-usapan naman natin ang triangle inequality at ang mga theorems na pwede natin gamitin para sa lesson na ito. Ang triangle inequality ay isa sa mga theorems na kailangan natin matutunan para mas marami tayong masolve sa mga problems involving geometric figures at paghanap ng mga missing parts ng mga ito. So una natin siyempre pag-uusapan ay yung tinatawag nating comparison property inequality. And in this inequality, sinasabi dito na if A is equal to B plus C and C is Um, greater than zero, then A is always greater than B, which is a little bit abstract for most of you dahil wala tayong diagram. Pero kung natatandaan ninyo yung lesson natin before about exterior angles, it's pretty much uh, related to this particular theorem na kung saan yung measurement down ng angle 1, which is nakikita natin, exterior angle ng ating non-included uh, angles dito sa ating triangles na angle 2 and 3. So kapag in natin siya, it's equal to the measurement of this exterior angle. So with this in mind, we'll have the corollary for this exterior angle theorem na related doon sa ating statement doon sa previous slide. So in this corollary, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of each remote remote interior angles. So nakikita ninyo doon sa ating diagram na kung ang ating daw measurement ng angle 1 is an exterior angle, so ang measurement ng angle 2 ay mas malaki or ang measurement ng angle 1 ay mas malaki sa measurement ng angle 2 at ang measurement ng angle 1 ay mas malaki din kesa sa measurement ng angle 3. So, yan yung tatandaan natin about triangle exterior angle theorem na magagamit natin sa pagsagot ng mga problems tulad ng example na ito. So, in this figure, we're seeing multiple triangles, we're seeing multiple angles, and in this case, we need to show kung bakit yung measurement ng angle 2 ay mas malaki daw sa measurement ni angle 3. So, sino ba or ano ba dito si angle 2? Ito si angle 2. At bakit daw si angle 2 ay mas malaki kay angle 3? At show natin yan at ipuprove natin yan using dun sa theorem na ginamit natin kanina. So, mapapansin ninyo na pag inextend natin yung ating angle from here, will be able to produce an exterior angle. And another thing that you need to take notice is that makakakita tayo dito ng triangle na kung saan yung dalawang sides niya ay congruent. At alam natin na kapag meron tayong two congruent sides ng triangle, ito ay isang isosceles triangle. At kung isosceles triangle yan, ibig sabihin yung kanyang included angles ay congruent din. So yan yung uh, isa sa mga theorem na Pinag-usapan natin before, so with this in mind, ibig sabihin nun, let's do a diagram para mas makita natin yung uh, ating mga theorems. So ito yung ating figure, may malaki tayong triangle dyan, tapos meron tayong diagonal dito, at ito si 3, at ito si 2, at ang sabi dito ay mas malaki daw si angle 2 kesa kay angle Three. So the measurement of angle 2 is greater than the measurement of angle 3. And to be able to do that, given tayo na ito ay congruent side, so that means congruent din itong angles na ito. So when it's congruent at inextend natin yung ating Isa sa mga legs ng ating triangle na included si angle 3, makikita natin at masasabi na yung ating angle dito ay mas malaki kesa kay 3 dahil yan dun sa theorem natin kanina about exterior angles na kung saan kung meron daw tayong extended angle at ito si 1 at ito si 2 at ito si 3, itong angle na ito ay lagi mas malaki sa angle 1 and angle 2. So that means itong angle na ito ay mas malaki kay 3. And what do you know about the measurement of this angle? The measurement of this angle is congruent to angle 2, which means 
mas malaki si angle 2 kesa sa measurement ni angle 3 dahil doon sa ating mga theorems na ginamit. So, doon natin pwedeng ipakita yung uh, theorem na ginamit natin para ma-prove na si angle 2 is indeed greater than the measurement of angle 3. So, ginamit tayo ng property ng isosceles triangle na kung saan kapag kakongruent yung sides, congruent din yung kanyang included angles. So with this in mind, we'll be able to show that the measurement of angle 1 is the same as the measurement of angle 2 in this diagram. Dahil yan sa isosceles triangle theorem. And with that, we'll be able to show na kapag in-extend natin yung ating triangle uh, DAB na kung saan si angle 3 ay pwede natin mapakita na mas maliit kesa sa angle 1 dahil sa exterior angle theorem. Alam natin ngayon na si 1 ay mas malaki kesa kay angle 3 using that theorem. At ito yung theorem na yan, corollary ng triangle exterior angle theorem. And with this, we're able to show na yung ating angle 1 I indeed greater than angle 3 and in return since congruent nga yung 1 and 2 alam natin ngayon na si angle 2 ay mas malaki kay angle 3 so ito yung uh, paggamit natin ng ating mga theorems para ma-prove tulad ng problem na ito na mas malaki si angle 2 si angle 3 kahit wala tayong measurements na nakikita doon sa ating given information. So, ang susunod naman nating theorem ay ang tinatawag nating triangle inequality theorem na sinasabi lang dito na if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the angle opposite the longer side is greater than the angle opposite the shorter side. So, ibig sabihin nito, kung yung ating longer side, which is XZ, ay naandito, yung angle opposite this longer side it contains the biggest or greatest angle among the three angles that we are seeing. Kaya nakikita natin kung si XZ ay greater than XY, si XZ ay greater than XY, so longer side versus the shorter side. That means yung angle measurement ni opposite side ni long side, which is angle Y, is greater than angle Z, which is the opposite side of the shorter side. So yun ang iisipin natin about this theorem. So, kung hindi nyo pa masyadong mag-gets, ganito lang siya. So, kung let's say, nahulog yung aking marker. So, let's say, meron tayong triangle. So, mahabang leg. Ito yung isa pa. Ito yung isa pa. So, let's say, ito yung longest side. Obvious naman na mas malaki ito or mas mahaba ito kaysa sa side ng nito and nito. So, ibig sabihin nun, since ito yung longest, ito daman yung angle na biggest. So, yun lang ang ibig sabihin nitong triangle inequality theorem na kung saan yung longest side, opposite niya ang biggest angle, at yung shorter side, since hindi natin makita kung alin, yun naman yung may pinakamaliit na angle measurement. Kaya, kung meron tayong triangle inequality theorem, meron din tayong converse of the triangle inequality theorem na kung saan kapag nakakuha tayo or binigyan tayo ng set of angles, yung mas malaking angle, ang opposite niya would be the longest side. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng converse ng ating triangle inequality theorem and we know the converse statement contains, let's say, yung ating conditional IP, then Q, ang converse na IQ, then P. So if two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the side opposite the greater angle is longer than the side opposite the lesser angle. So yun naman ang converse ng ating triangle inequality theorem. So tandaan natin, opposite angle ng mas mahabang side ng triangle will be the biggest angle or containing the biggest angle at yung opposite naman ng shorter side will contain the smallest angle doon sa ating tatlong angles ng triangle. So, tatlo lang dahil triangles, three angles. At yan yung gagamitin natin para masagutan natin itong uh, problem na ito na kung saan a town park is triangular 
a landscape architect wants to place a bench at the center with the longest angle. So which two streets from the corner with the largest angle? So, medyo iffy yung uh, uh, construction ng, uh, or wording sa word problems, pero ang hinahanap lang natin dito is kung nasaan daw yung pinakamalaking angle dito sa part na ito para pagtayuan natin ng ating bench. So, titingnan natin, meron tayong Hollingsworth Road, meron tayong MLK Boulevard, at meron din tayong Valley Road, at meron siyang 175 yards kay Hollingsworth, meron tayong 105 yards kay MLK Boulevard, and 120 yards kay Valley Road. So, syempre, alam natin na si Hollingsworth Road ang may pinakamahabang road or street. So, that means opposite that, yun yung may malaking angle. So, ano ba yung opposite niyan? So, since alam natin na si Hollingsworth ang uh, may longest street, yung opposite niya, which is this street or this corner, will have the biggest angle. At ano yung corner na yan? Yan yung corner ng Valley Road and MLK Boulevard. So, dito natin nagagamit yung uh, theorem natin about uh, triangle inequality or triangle... Um, theorem na pinakita natin kanina. So, kung may mas mahabang side, opposite ng mahabang side na yon yung may pinakamalaking angle. And speaking of inequality, let's show triangle inequality theorem for the sum of lengths of the sides. At ginagamit natin ito to verify kung valid yung ating triangle and also to uh, find ways on how to find the range of values na kung saan uh, malilimit yung size ng ating mga legs sa ating triangle. So in this triangle, sinasabi lang dito that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. Otherwise, hindi nag exist yung triangle na yun. So paano siya mag exist So meron tayong triangle dito. Meron tayong uh, x, y, z. Ito si X, ito si Y, at ito si Z. So, ibig lang sabihin ng first one. So, yung measurement ni X, Y, ito si X, Y. At in natin si Y, Z, ito si Y, Z. Ang sum niyan, pag in natin yan, will always be greater than yung third side, which is X, Z. Mukhang pangit na y yan. So, yan yung ibig sabihin nung ating uh, theorem. So, ibig sabihin kahit i-add natin ito at ito, mas malaki pa rin yung sum niya kaysa dito. Pag in naman natin ito at ito, mas malaki siya sa sum na ito. So, yun lang yung ibig sabihin ng triangle inequality theorem for the sum lengths of the side. At magagamit natin yan para masagot natin itong problem na ito. So, itong problem na ito, can a triangle have sides with the given lengths? So, yung ating given length sa ating first triangle, hindi natin nakikita yung triangle, pero meron tayong 3 feet by 7 feet by 8 feet. At yung isa naman ay 5 feet by 10 feet by 15 feet. So, i-check natin kung alin dito yung may valid na triangle lengths. So, unahin natin si A. So, pag in natin si 3 plus 7, so yung 3 feet daw plus 7 feet, so 3 plus 7 feet, it's equal to 7, 8, 9, 10. At yung 10 natin ay syempre, mas malaki kay 8 feet, at si 8 feet yung ating third side. So, ibig sabihin, valid itong triangle na ito from our theorem. And then, pwede naman natin gawin C7 plus 8. And see if it's greater than 3 feet, at pwede din natin kunin si 8 plus 3 and check if it's greater than 7. And with that in mind, the first one, check, dahil 10 siya, 10 is greater than 8 feet. Yung pangalawa naman, 7 plus 8 is 15, which is greater than 3 feet. At yung pangalawa, 8 plus 3, which is 11, which is greater than 7. So check, check, check. So ibig sabihin, valid itong ating triangle na ito dahil yung sum of the lengths of any of the two sides in itong triangle na ito ay mas malaki doon sa kanyang third side. At doon sa pangalawa naman, meron tayong 5, 10, and 15. 
ang gagawin lang natin is i-check kung mas malaki si 5 plus 10 kay 15. So, yun yung una nating option. So, since nakita na natin na 15 yung sagot at alam natin si 15 ay hindi mas malaki kay 15 dahil sila ay equal. So, X na yan. So, since X na yan, hindi na rin natin kailangan i-show or i-prove yung other two uh, pairings dahil na-invalidate na yung proof natin dun sa ating unang choice which is 5 plus 10 is not greater than 15. It is equal to 15. So in this case, the sum of 5 and 10 is not greater than 15. So this contradicts the theorem. So that means hindi nagi exist yung ating triangle letter B. So dyan natin ginagamit yung ating triangle inequality theorem. At kung uh, naunawaan nyo yung ating theorem about inequality, kayang-kaya nyo nung sagutin itong ating number bender challenge for the day which is Two sides of a triangle are 5 feet and 8 feet long. What is the range of the possible lengths of the third side? So, tasagutan nyo naman kung ano yung minimum and maximum lengths ng ating third side para magkaroon tayo ng valid triangle. So, yan ang ating number bender challenge of the day. So, comment in down below and let's see kung tama ang magiging range of values ninyo. At yan ang lesson natin on triangles this time. So, meron tayong mga theorems na pwede ulit magamit sa pagbuo at pagsagot ng mga problems involving geometry. And as I have mentioned all the time, writing proofs and answering uh, problems in geometry may uh, test your analytical skill at dito tayo mas natututo kung paano tayo maging critical when it comes to learning mathematics. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!